welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is crystal and i know it's been a while since my last upload but there has been a lot of life happening i'm still finishing up my phd while building up my education blog which has finally started to see a lot of traffic on google so that's exciting and also still working on book stuff and being an author and doing all that fun stuff but um to be honest i just really wanted to remember this experience because this is something we have both been looking forward to for i think the past like year year and a half and it's our first time in vietnam so i wanted to take you guys along and i wanted to have this experience to remember <laughs> extremely jet lag but I just wanted to do a quick um, video of the room um, it's very basic but I feel like it has everything we need so it's okay <laughs> but the coolest thing about this is the balcony I think it's a shared balcony with the room next to us but it's it's pretty cool it's a cooler day today, but tomorrow is going to be sunny and a lot warmer, like in the 70s. So I'm excited about that. But tonight it's New Year's, so it's a holiday, so the streets are going crazy. And the guy at the reception basically told us that it was going to get crazier. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to finally be in Vietnam for the first time. And yeah, I really miss the chairs for the balcony. I just, I really love this vibe. Like it has a really good vibe. It's strange because it's cold and I'm so used to it being warm in these tropical climates. Um, but yeah, first impressions have been really good. I really like Vietnam so far. Like the, the locals are very nice and they laugh and yeah, they're just kind. So yeah, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. I look really, really tired, so see you soon. This building here is like flashing lights, <laughs> lighting people with their lasers. Happy New Year! Woo! <laughs> oh, Happy New Year! That's so cool! Ladies and gentlemen, that is the sun. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> this new year as like even though we didn't go out and party last night we still like had like a really nice time just being present and just uh, recognizing the tremendous blessing it is to have this experience and it's not like a crazy amount of money like I think the plane tickets were the most expensive part and also when I traveled to Bal Bali and also traveling to Thailand it was kind of the same case but it's just the fact that like we can have this experience and like this view and like be in this city for like less than $50 a night 
which is like crazy to believe because growing up I always believed like only special people or only it was impossible basically to have this experience and I didn't really look into what all went into it until I started like traveling until I started researching and I realized like okay I can budget here move things around here and um, I can do this and it's been a blessing to have a partner who also values travel and values the experience that you get whenever you experience someone new from a different culture and a new perspective. One thing that I found consistent among all these Southeast Asian countries are like the scooters for sure. <laughs> like I'm glad I know how to ride one because I learned when I was in Bali but like yeah I'm just I'm so excited and it feels so good it just yeah everything just feels so good. Um, Hopefully I can add some more like cool stuff to this vlog, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, if you watched my last couple vlogs, you know that I'm not like a go out and party. I'm just you know, chill vibe. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with me as we go explore some of Hanoi. <laughs> anything like the energy of Hanoi especially at night it was just different like the city came alive and there were people everywhere obviously so if you are coming to visit I would probably you know recommend not coming on the holiday like the new year because the streets were so crowded and for me it was just a bit much because I am introverted and I didn't I couldn't take people bumping into me but it was really fun a, a new experience but we were definitely tired by the end of it
Thank you. Anything, I would say that this boat ride is the most peaceful thing we've done since we've gotten here. <laughs> Even with the rain, it's very nice. It adds to it, it's a special touch. <laughs> the greatest we still made the best out of our experience we explored new areas of vietnam and honestly we were blown away we could have spent all day just at this park alone i can't remember the name of it if i remember i'll put it in the description but it was just like still a really nice experience <laughs> pretty much the end of our trip. I worked on my dissertation a little bit more. We really couldn't do a lot because we were both still working, but I would say that traveling to Hanoi was probably one of the most exciting experiences I've had. But thanks so much for watching.